there everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a ration from Nutrient Survival. It's actually been a while since, we, uh, since we've since we you know had anything Nutrient Survival. Um, I want to say we've done one or two. I know we did a mac and cheese but I, I don't remember if it was a chili mac but anyway. So this is Nutrient Survival's Southwestern Medley. Uh, three bean medley with bell peppers, rice, kick of paprika, and jalapeno. And they are in these somewhat smaller bags. Now, back when um, back when I first started to get a little interest in these, they were doing larger cans. And I didn't really want to buy a can, especially if I don't know what it tastes like. They started coming out with pouches, but then the pouches got smaller. Now, these are the pouches that they would put the, um, like, well, they're... <laughs> They had a lot of very simple packages. I, I remember like there was beans and rice and beans and stuff like that. Um, and they were in small packages and it looks like they're just gonna go with that. Or, the, I mean, it was a little while since I purchased this. I don't know if they brought back any um, bigger packages, but again, this is what we have now. So making it in this, not really uh, gonna happen. Uh, so I guess consider that because most of the rations that I, I take on trail or whatever, the pouches are big enough to where I can make them in the pouch. So I don't really dirty anything, which is important to me. But anyway, just something to put out there. Uh, nutritional facts up here, 280 calories in that, which is cool. And then yeah. ingredients list it wants to focus. There we go. If you're interested in that. And they do uh, vitamin enhance their stuff. So you'll see a lot of different vitamins and minerals in there. That's something that Nutrient Survival does. Uh, well, Nutrient, right? Nutrient Survival. It's in the name. Um, but anyway, I figured we'd get out our kind of cheap Walmart pot and just make it in here. Uh, let's see. What did they... Did they have a... Oh, yeah. So they do have a recommendation here for um, adding uh, your water. So they're calling for a half a cup of boiling water. Stir, uh, let stand for three to five minutes. And uh, I don't really remember. I probably should just grab, grab my knife instead of tearing this literally, literally down the middle. There we go. That works a little better. There's what you get in package. Mm. Mm. I don't really like the smell of that. Kind of smells a little artificially. Not quite sure. Um, general disclaimer, I will normally just add about the water that I think I would like it to be. So don't yell at me about it. I've said this enough. But, you know, generally speaking, I try and shoot for the consistency that I would like to see when the meal is done. And then just a little bit more water after that is usually pretty good. Rice and beans though, along with like pasta, do tend to take a lot of water. Uh, so sometimes you need to go a little bit over. But I will also say this, it's easier to add more water in than take water out. So just be conservative about it. And in all honesty, once you guys get going, and you do this a few hundred times, you'll, you'll know. You'll know what I'm talking about. So this does look pretty soupy right now, but uh, Grant, it will, uh, it'll tighten up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put our little lid on here. I'm gonna let this set, and then we will uh, come back and uh, see if it's any good. All right, well, let's see how our medley did. It's thickened up quite a bit. I don't want to worry about some of those beans though. Eh, you know what? It seems like they've done okay. Eh, it'll be all right. All right. Well, here we go. Let's, uh, let's try some of our medley. Doesn't look bad. Mmm.
Um. Uh, yeah. Taste wise, though, um, I don't know about that. Uh, get a little bit more. Yeah, there's a. There's a strange taste in there. Um, I have to imagine it's something to do with the added stuff. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't stop me from eating it after a long day, but it's that little hot sauce and see if that does anything to help it out. Yeah, that helps. That cuts that weird flavor out. Um, it's bland. Aside from that sort of off flavor, which I can't really describe. I mean, it's rice and beans, which isn't a bad thing. Um... I mean, there is a hint of paprika in there that I could discern. It's, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I mean, you know, the beans rehydrated well, the rice is fine. It's definitely, or it just feels like, you know, instant rice. You know, just like the cheap instant rice. Sorry, I don't want to dog it or anything. Like, I, I, I get the, uh, I get the idea. I mean, you are getting a lot of extra vitamins and minerals here, which is good. But the overall taste is not very good. I, yeah, but at the end of a long day of a hiking or whatever, I mean, I'd, I'd eat it. <laughs> I'd eat it. I probably wouldn't think about it too much. I'd just eat it. Um, but yeah, it's not a very interesting meal. Um, yeah, so there we go. I'm going to quit on this one. But Nutrient Survival... Southwestern Medley. Let me know what you guys thought. I mean, have any of you tried this one before? If you have, leave a comment down below. Am I just crazy or uh, did you all feel the same way? I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to see anything uh, reviewed on the channel, P.O. Box is down in the description as well as the Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.